you are ready. My name is George Washington. I was born in 1732. I grew up tall and strong, playing and working with my siblings. Gus Washington, otherwise known as my father, expected to send me to his old school in England, but very sadly, he died when I was only 11, which was the year of 1743. When I was younger, I loved to hunt, fish, ride horses, and I really loved to dream of adventure. I set my heart on a career of being in the military. I would wear the red coat of the British officer, which was also worn by my much, my much, much admired half-brother Lawrence. Um, when I was younger, my wealthy father owned tobacco plantations and slaves that he inherited. Although I have owned hundreds of slaves here in my lifetime, my views on slavery involve me desiring to free them and abolish slavery. Maybe one day, I, George Washington, would command a royal warship. But would my very strict mother, Mary, let me go to sea? No, and she was sure about that. Later in my years, I quickly became a senior officer in the Central Forces during the first stages of the French and Indian War. Years of hardship and illness on the frontier had left me worn and weary. After the French and Indian War, it was a Revolutionary War. I led the colonel army in the Revolution. In the Revolutionary War, including the famous battle at Valley Forge, I then became the first president of the United States. And after I was done being president, I spent my days at Mount Vernon with Martha, which I got married to, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, oh, yes. What I think would have changed my life is if my father did not die. If my father did not die, I would have gone to his old school in England and found a new friend and probably found a new hobby. And that's it.